Hey guys, this is Alex from the Melco Applications team. I'm very excited to share some of the new features from our latest update for the Melco Summit machine. Some of these features include our new design queue, which is my personal favorite, alongside the ability to save your run settings to the designs from the machine and quickly changing your loaded thread colors by scanning the QR codes found on the thread cones. Let's jump into it. If I want to plan my production day ahead of time, I can now load my files into the design queue. To load a design to the queue, I'll open my file load menu and select my design source. Then I'll select my design, tap this icon here to add it to the queue. From this menu, I can change my number of runs. I can move my file up and down in the queue by tapping these arrow icons on the side. Then I can either trash my file by clicking that trash can icon, or I can load it immediately to the machine by tapping that folder icon. From my home screen, if I want to load the next design in my queue, I can tap this icon here next to my file load command. If I tap and hold that icon, it will quickly bring up my design queue. I can also view my queue by tapping the file load icon and then this icon down here at the bottom. Now I can save settings like my hoop selection, speed, active feed, and design orientation to my files from the summit. To view these saved settings, I'll tap this icon here next to our transformation menu. Here I'll see all the settings that were previously saved to my file along with my design notes. If I want to overwrite new settings to the file, I can tap the save icon here, or I can tap this icon with the green arrow to load those settings. We'll get this notification asking if the correct hoop is loaded on the machine. I can deny it if I still need to make adjustments, or if I confirm it, we'll see it move the design to our saved location. If I need to load a new thread color onto my Summit machine, I can now scan the QR codes on top of the cone to load it into the software. To do so, I will open my color setup menu, then my thread tree edit menu. I'll select the needle number that I'd like to change, and then we can scan the QR code to select the color. Once that color is selected, I can go ahead and confirm it to save my changes. 